so today we are going to learn about merge support and a few of the options so currently i am focusing on reprocess results and reprocess message in merge connect so many of them are confused like what is the use of uh, reprocess result and reprocess message and everyone has their own opinion so this is for the people who are trying to learn merge initially so this would be very basic and i'll explain you clearly what is the difference between a reprocess results and a reprocess message so i'll go to merge connect and i have created one basic channel without any uh, editing or any transformations and i'll just uh, show you the channel it is like a uh, channel reader and channel writer so no transformations nothing uh, you can see the transform is zero here similarly in a destination no transformers so we'll go to dashboard and we'll try to send some message to make sure we are going to test it even i took one basic example over here very very basic example the three segments of msh pit and p1 we'll click on it right click on it and you send message and we'll send this message process it and while we refresh it automatically we can see the message has been uh, received and uh, sent and again received with destination and sent that's good now we are focusing on reprocess message and results we'll double click on it here we can see the source and the destination and there's no transformation everything is same and simple so in the pit there are no values now to understand it better we'll try to do something so here you can see nothing i'll do reprocess a message okay so even if i don't select anything if uh, it doesn't show me reprocess uh, message i need to select so that th that's the only time we'll get it so when you go here to my notes reprocess message is nothing but send only selected message so you won't get any option if you won't select it if i deselect it yep i cannot see anything if i select it i can see reprocess message and if you have like hundreds of messages only the message which you are selecting you can see the option and people might be thinking for example i'll click on source and try to reprocess it and i'll click on destination and i'll try to reprocess it there is no difference wherever you are going to click it will start reprocessing it from source itself the message which you have from source and it will go to all the transformers and destinations and it will come as an output so many people will think reprocess message is nothing but we are reprocessing the whole message reprocessing results is nothing but we are trying to reprocess only uh, from the destination part so it's a myth whatever you are trying to reprocess it will pass through the complete channel source all the transformers all the destinations and it will go back so we will try to do one basic reprocess uh, what i'll try to do i'll do a reprocess message and i'll send it to destination and even i'll explain what is overwriting existing missed and updates i'll click okay and i'll try refresh and uh, you will take some time if to pop over here the best thing is go to dashboard and come back here you can see it you can see the source is same the source is same in the destination it is same it is same even the sent it is same so reprocess message as uh, passed from everything to make it little bit more clear what i'll do i'll go to reprocess message in the source in the transformer i'll add a step this is just for our understanding purpose in the message template i kept it something like that and in the message tree i'll do one thing and the pit 5 i'll track it and add it as sachin okay perfect and we will go back we'll save changes and deploy this and we'll see what it's going to happen i'll click on send message okay no problem i'll go here now uh, i won't get an option to reprocess the message i need to select it if i select it i am getting if i am selecting i am getting it it's it's a similar difference between uh, remove results and remove message if it is message only single thing if it results the complete uh, message which we are having after the search criteria i'll explain about it so i am going to reprocess this from the destination part you might be seeing uh, there is nothing over here in the destination even the send part is here so even in the channels my transformation is in the edit transformer 
in the source section, not in the destination section. So if I go here and reprocess it from the destination, what you will get? You will be getting the same details with blank pit segment? No. The message again passes to the source and again comes to destination. So we'll see the explanation here. I'm clicking on destination and I'm reprocessing the message. Okay. As it is single, you uh, won't get uh, to type re reprocess all and I'll click OK. I'll refresh and I'll go back to dashboard and come back. You can see there is a message. I'll click on the source, OK, transform and encode it. You can see such in over here. Meaning is reprocess message, no matter you will select the destination or like multiple destinations you have, it will come from source destination whatever channels you have it will come from source destination and it will pass to multiple channels over here so you it's not a big difference uh, it will not only pass from destination it will come from source again that is reprocess message so no confusion nothing if i go back then people will be thinking reprocess result is something like only from the destination uh, it is going to send uh, everything to everywhere no even reprocess result will work in the same way. The only difference between message and results is message, it is only one, only only selected message. Results is nothing but that match the search criteria. For example, I'll go to Mirth and I'll put something here like Sachin and I'll click search. Okay, there's a typo, S-A-C-H-I-N and I'll click on search. When I click, only I have this single message because recently we have sent such in so when I click on a reprocess results only that particular message will be reprocessed so what is results is nothing but the results of the search criteria over here so you shouldn't get confused with the message and results so now what we can see in the screen is the result of the search so when we try to reprocess results only that particular message will be reprocessed and I'll click OK. Now it will be asking, uh, giving a warning, shall I repross? In real time, we have like thousands of messages with the output of Sachin or whatever the patient details and it would it might be affecting the outbound system. So it will give an option to repross all. I'll click repross all. And the spelling uh, should be without any typo. So it will send it. I'll click OK. I'll refresh it. I'll go to dashboard and I'll come back. You can see there were two messages before with normal blank details. One I sent with Sachin, there's another message with Sachin. Means only the result got reprocessed. So even you can see the count is four. Two of them are blank, two of them are Sachin. Now what I'll do, again for understanding purpose, I'll search with Sachin and you can see two messages. Now I'll reprocess results. Oh, not remove. Reprocess results and I'll get the same option reprocess all now how sh how many message should be in our dashboard so the count would be six only these two messages will be reprocessed I'll go back I'll refresh yep the count is six so we are only trying to reprocess the results of the search criteria so you shouldn't get confused between reprocess results and search now we are going to learn about something new if I click on reprocess message and there is an option known as overwrite existing message and update statistics. So there are already six messages over here. I want I don't want to create a new message, the seventh one. So you can see the timings over here. Uh, today is like August 9th, 22:37, 40 and everything. And even we got the response date. So I just want to overwrite the statistics over here. I don't want a new message. So that's where this will get affected. What I'll do, I'll select the past message, which is nothing but uh, August 9th, 2233. You can see the dates. This is the past message and this is the latest message. What I'll do, I'll try to select it, reprocess message. I'll click on overwriting existing message updates and statistics. Those are nothing but the statistics. And what we'll try to do. Okay, total we have six message and we will try to reprocess it. And I'll go back. There is no number seven over here. Means 
the past message statistics has been overwritten so there is no new message uh, which is showing over here but it has been reprocessed this is one method if I go back you can see it's uh, the latest message has been reprocessed it's 2242 it's like 1042 over here means the statistics have been updated and given over here you can see the criteria is like uh, this is the past 35 37 40 it's changing back to 40 but here it has been updated recently so that's how overwrite existing option works I can do one thing here we can see uh, one uh, like uh, the encoded part transform okay raw okay such in and the destination such in destination such in three of them destination such in destination yep so we have around three three such in so here one two three and everything is like around 10 40 10 40 10 40 I'll click search in and search so even uh, you can use a count option here to check okay we have around one two three four four such in so here okay one one two three four yeah perfect I'll reprocess it all the statuses will change reprocess results same overwriting existing message updates I'll click OK R E P R O C E S S A L L click OK and go to dashboard even though I reprocess it the message count won't increase over here I'll go here you can see that 1040 has been changed to the latest time 1043 in my screen so that's how the reprocess results and the reprocess message works so it has no difference at all it is the same thing it will reprocess anything from the source of that particular channel the only difference is like the search criteria over here and this is nothing but only the selected message if you select destination or source it doesn't matter it only reprocess everything from the source that's it I don't want to confuse too much on the reprocess message and results we'll be working similarly on everything in future thank you